Our guidelines on fair employment practices in Singapore will be updated in mid-February. This to ensure that employees are not forced to support or attend events unrelated to work. Employees should not be penalised for not doing so either. And they should be assessed for performance and promotions based only on work-related requirements. Under the enhanced tripartite guidelines on fair employment practices, employers are urged to provide a safe environment for workers to raise concerns and have proper channels for handling grievances. Support for causes should also not lead to bullying, harassment or ostracism as well. Employers who fail to abide by these guidelines could have their work pass privileges curtailed. There are a lot more social causes and other forms of causes, right, that uh, employees and uh, people within the organization may participate in. And many of these causes that they participate in are not going to be part of work nor part of what the company is pushing for. And in such instances, right, the employers would need to be uh, sensitive, right, to how they deal with it. And for more on this, we speak to Patrick Tay. He's Assistant Secretary General at NTUC. Oh, Mr Tay, of course, as we mentioned, these are updated guidelines. So existing guidelines already cover discrimination based on things like, for example, race, religion, uh, beliefs, disability. So these updated guidelines are meant to deal with a different kind of issue. So what changes have happened to make this necessary and what, this, what is this new focus of these new guidelines? I think across the globe, we see employers and employees alike are doing more to support you know, various causes at the workplace uh, where individuals of different backgrounds and beliefs work. So these causes may be unrelated to the business of the employer or the job that the employees are hired to do. So therefore, workplace activities held in support of these causes may cause tension at the workplace, uh, especially when these causes are in conflict with the employee's values or beliefs. So the Tropanite partners uh, have discussed and have received feedback that employees who do not subscribe to these causes because of their own cultures, values or beliefs sometimes feel pressured, harassed or even ostracized if they do not participate in these activities. And therefore, the Tripartite partners uh, recognize the importance of uh, proactively preserving a harmonious workplace where employers and employees can thrive regardless of their backgrounds and beliefs. And so these uh, additional guidelines uh, underscore the importance of building and maintaining a harmonious workplace where all individuals continue to feel valued, engaged and respected. Mr Tay, have there been triggers or instances perhaps that have suggested that employers aren't doing enough to address the issue of inclusivity and, and not discriminate, uh, discriminating against uh, workers who actually support certain causes? So this, the guidelines actually state that employees should not uh, these additional guidelines actually state that employees should not be required or pressured to participate in events, policies and programs that are not related to work. So, but, uh, well, for example, uh, can an employer in the business of green consulting or selling solar panels require the employees to participate in a climate change campaign if the campaign is not related to the employee's job? For example, it's in the financial sector. Well, employers can develop policies in uh, support of faith, or cost-based issues, we encourage employers to be mindful of the sensitivities, particularly in Singapore's context, uh, with our beliefs and values which are very diverse, uh, particularly in our Singapore workforce. So, so, long, so long as the campaign or policies are not relevant to work, employees are free to choose or should be given uh, the, the liberty to choose whether to participate in the campaign or comply with the policies. So non-support and non-participation should not I repeat, should not affect employment outcomes. Uh, in any case, employers should provide employees with channels to raise views or concerns over any of these policies, activities and programs. Mr Tay, in drawing up these guidelines and thinking about how to address possible tricky issues, uh, I, I, I wonder, it's very difficult, for example, to lay down in advance what counts as actually supporting a cause in an acceptable way or unacceptable way. Even bullying in the workplace, there's outright physical bullying and there's a lot of unspoken mental kind of bullying. Uh, in laying out these guidelines, have you looked ahead to see how you can actually implement them so that they, are, they actually have force? 
Yes, yeah, so I think uh, it's a, a set of tripartite guidelines uh, agreed by tripartite partners. So we encourage, uh, of course, with some administrative measures and sanctions which have been shared earlier. I think more importantly is that uh, in, in, we, we hope employers would come up with uh, you know processes and rules, including for, uh, work, workers who are union members can approach their unions as well as union leaders to assist uh, them if they face issues where they feel aggrieved a bullet, harassed, or even uh, discriminated against. And of course, uh, this entire deck of guidelines is uh, tripartite guidelines. Uh, and many of us are aware that we are in the process of uh, discussing at a tripartite level with a tripartite work group form at a workplace fairness piece of legislation. So that, uh, in a way, this augmented deck of guidelines is a precursor to that final piece of workplace fairness legislation. So employers are being encouraged, uh, perhaps cajoled, uh, into doing the right thing, uh, Mr. Tay. Uh, but how will NTUC actually ensure that this is not just going to be lip service? Is there going to be a process for handling grievances, uh, 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 as an example? Yeah. In all our unionized companies, we actually have a grievance handling or grievance procedure. Whenever uh, workers, union members uh, on the ground in the companies uh, face issues, especially issues related to this. So we encourage uh, those who are not union members yet to be part of the union movement. And then, of course, uh, we are one channel. Uh, for those those who are non-union members, uh, Ministry of Manpower to the Tripartite Alliance for Fair and Progressive Employment Practices, TAFET for short, is another channel which they can go to if they feel grief or uh, they have been uh, in situations uh, as outlined uh, in this new augmented uh, deck of guidelines. Mr. Tay, thank you very much for that. Uh, that was Patrick Tay, the Assistant Secretary General at NTUC.